Okay, so we're in our third uh, video in the Bash series, and we're working on our um, customizing the Outlook or the look of our uh, terminals here and um, the command line, and just color coding things and stuff like that. It may seem like we're done, but we're not quite done yet, actually. Uh, one thing we need to do is uh, we'll go back to the Open Sage page and we'll grab this line of code here, this root code, okay? So you'll just copy that like we did the other one. Um, just take it from the last uh, single quotation and then just before the first single quotation. So you're at that copying from the backslash there, from that first backslash to the last single quotation, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our root user now, okay? And we're going to change the colors of that because it'll look the same as this one. And it's good to change um, so that you will know that you're in root. And you um, you don't want to be in root actively without a, a reason. So you can get to it by typing su, enter, and then entering your password or sudo dash I, I'll get you there. Okay, so as you can see, mine's set up differently here already. And we're going to do the exact same thing as we did to change our normal username in the uh, prompt there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're going to go into nano dot bash rc, and this has its own rc file, okay? It's separate from the rc file that's in the uh, different users, okay? So now we're going to be in the root users uh, bash rc file, okay? And we're going to do the exact same thing, okay? We're going to page down until we find that code and here it is right here okay and then you'll paste that in right there okay And as you can see, we we have the one now for the red, and then seven here for the white. Um, I'm going to actually change this out. So here we can see okay. And it should be typing white here now. And it is. Okay. So we can actually change this a little bit more, just like with the other one. And we can change all of the properties here as, as we want. So I think I'm actually going to make this yellow. So it'll stand out. Maybe even bug me. So I will want to. And then we'll do a control O and enter and then we'll go back here and we'll exit and now we'll go back in alright and now we can see it's yellow okay and that's how it was exactly the same as when we were changing the other one this way we can just make it separate so anything we're doing um, we can tell easily that we're in our root and we don't make a mistake as, as to not log out of it. So when we're done doing whatever we're doing, doing in root, then we'll know to exit it. Okay. All right. 
one last thing we should talk about really quick here is just the fact that is the, just a basic thing about bash is that you can always get to manuals okay on different programs and stuff like that so to get to a manual and to learn more about things you can just type in man space and then what you want to learn about such as bash and now here it gives you everything <coughs> gives you the user manual for bash okay some are very um, get into a lot of detail and very in depth other ones are just shallow and they just um, can give you more of reference on where to go to get more information about those so when you're in the man pages it's just like um, when you're in nano page down page up and that's how you get around in those and then Q type Q and that'll quit the program okay the manual and you can go man nano same thing, page up, page down, read more about that. And, uh, okay, quit that. So you can just man anything, like you program like a uh, piano bar. You can learn more about that. So anyway, just figured I'd tell you about that really quick. And, um, because I'm assuming you're going to be learning more codes and everything like that on your own. So I figured the manuals would uh, be a good thing for you to know about if you didn't know about them already. Okay, that's the end of video three in learning the uh, bash and getting more familiar with it in the command line. And uh, see you later. Talk with you later on the next videos upcoming.